Young Enterprises' mission has always been to inspire and equip young people to learn and succeed through enterprise. And when I started to work for Young Enterprise three years ago, there was very little activity really in the, in the whole boundary. We've gone from maybe 200 young people in a school year participating uh, to last year over 5,000. I think that there really does need to be a, a great emphasis on enterprise uh, within Hull as a city. The main reason for that is linked towards aspiration. Many, many young people in this area don't have any aspirations at all, or if they do, they're, they're very low. The amazing thing is that uh, Hull's young people have been under um, a cloud for the past 10 years at least. Uh, low aspirations, um, problems with the culture, the education, as we know the stats have been not good. And it's tended to cloud the issue and hide how much talent there is actually in the city. And one of the really good things about your enterprise and getting involved with it is that you actually see how much talent there is there. And we've just got to capitalise on it and bring it, bring it out so we get the benefits. Hull's always been a city where entrepreneurship and manufacturing across the fishing industry was very much part of who it was. But Hull took a dive when its traditional manufacturing industries and the fishing industry went into decline. And what was a bustling northern industrial city went into, into economic problems. So we're now looking at um, generations of people where those industries were no longer there and we're now starting to regenerate a city, starting to build those aspirations back in to a generation whose fathers and grandfathers went through all that, um, all those problems with employment. A, a lot of young people and, and a lot of adults don't actually understand what being enterprising is. They think it's just setting up a business, which in fact I think it's things like being passionate about something, being willing to take a risk, uh, be able to stand by your decision whatever the outcome is, having a can-do attitude, having a positive attitude, all of those things really are being enterprising. Kate Smiles Limited was uh, founded in October 2004 and it was previously a young enterprise company which we started um, the previous September in 2003. Originally we were selling kind of smiley mugs, cards, uh, that kind of thing, just kind of uh, general school project if you like. But then we expanded it um, and scrapped all that and decided to sell bed implants instead because we felt it was a good market and that people would be interested in buying them. Uh, we worked our way through the competition and eventually made uh, the national finals at the Savoy Hotel in London in July 2004. Uh, unfortunately we didn't win but we decided that we brought uh, the company too far to uh, kind of just uh, leave it. So we decided to uh, incorporate it into a limited company. The whole Youth Enterprise Partnership has, has been fantastic for Young Enterprise and, and for me because I actually sit on the whole Youth Enterprise Partnership group. It's been great in a couple of ways. Firstly, it's wonderful to spend some time with like-minded people. Um, people that are passionate about young people and their aspirations, people that are wanting the city of Hull to be a top 10 city and they can see further than the next five years, they can see that in the next 25 years these young people that we're trying to, to inspire and equip are going to be the future of the city. Business and education have got to work closely together and there are some organisations in the city that are helping to do that but I think Young Enterprise is the best catalyst that there is. It's, it, one of the things that the forum's done is it's took business people who wouldn't normally interact with the school and put them in the school in a role of a mentor or um, an advisor to a Young Enterprise company and that's been beneficial all the way around. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so important for us to, to help and guide younger people who want to start their own businesses because they are the businesses of the future. Um, Hull in particular has a, a lower than average number of, of younger people in self-employment and indeed a, a lower than average number in self-employment generally. So anything we can do to actually make it easier and, and, and better for people to start up then we're here to do. The Youth Enterprise Partnership and the work that it does has started to really restore those aspirations into the young people of Hull. And it's a fairly young partnership, you know, not I mean just a couple of years and it's already had you know a huge impact on the numbers of young people that are starting to get involved in young enterprise work. I mean you know from the hundreds to the thousands which is a 
you know, a very, very good result. New Enterprise has been um, a huge help to not only us, but um, other kids like us in the city, um, getting them interested in enterprise, interested in business, and hopefully they can become um, the young entrepreneurs of the future and the business people of the future to help create companies uh, just like ours and hopefully go on to make um, quite a bit of money and help the economy of the city. Well, one or two success stories we've had is um, a young designer, um, Simon Havercroft, who's started his own business, Envisage Design, which is uh, really going great guns. He's only been going since October, um, but turnover's now exceeding uh, well over expectations and uh, we've actually helped him to get some funding for some special printing equipment through something called a Partnership Investment Fund um, and uh, that machine alone will enable him to, uh, to deal with bigger orders and, and do even more so uh, that's, a, that's a real success story, very pleased with it. Hull's a traditional um, manufacturing type city with a lot of uh, assets in the area and our biggest asset as I've said before is our people and our young people especially are our future and we've, if we can switch them onto enterprise, which is what we're doing at the moment, the